File parsing is one of the most common use cases in any production grade application which specifically deals with various type of documents. This is where the tool Llama Parse from Llama Index comes very handy. I already have covered this tool on the channel and if you're interested you can go through my channel and search for Llama Parse. In this video I'm going to show you a tool which is a wrapper which an unofficial one on top of Llama Parse and makes it really easy to use this very nifty utility. Llama Parse is a service created by Llama Index to efficiently parse and represent files for efficient retrieval and context augmentation using Llama Index frameworks. Llama Index is one of the most performant lightweight library in order to deal with data structures and data to be used in AI powered applications specifically in large language models. The good thing is that Llama Parse directly integrates with Llama Index so it is quite in, um, intuitive to use it in your AI powered applications. If you want to use Llama Parse you would need to go to Llama Cloud which is um, the website is um, llamacloud.ai and I will drop the link in video description and you would need to sign up with your email address and you get a lot of free credits which is quite generous from Llama Index to use this Llama Parse. So in this video we are going to install this Llama Parse CLI on top of our um, Llama Parse and then we are going to use it on our own documents locally. Before I show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPU so do check them out. Cool. So let me take you to my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy masked compute as it is an API based system so I am not going to uh, use any LLM here but it's always good to have it. Now in order to install it first I am just going to create a Conda environment so that everything will be in the virtual environment without disturbing my installation. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so it is just asking me to initialize my Conda by running Conda in it. So let me do it. And you can see that now I have initialized and you, we are in the Llama Parse as you can see in the parenthesis. Let's install some of the prerequisites which include Torch and Transformers. Let's wait for it to finish. This is going to take a couple of minutes. And that is all done. Let me clear the screen. Next up, there are two prerequisites which you need to meet. One is that you should have Node.js installed. I already have it and also you should have NPM installed. If you don't know how to install both of these, please search my channel. I already have done a step-by-step -step very easy video as how to install both Node and NPM on Ubuntu. Next up, let's install this Llama Par CLI with the help of NPM globally. Let's wait for it to finish, shouldn't take too long. And that is all done. So let's try to use it. Let me first clear the screen. Okay, now in this my PDF directory, I already have a sample PDF file, which I'm going to parse with this Llama Parse CLI. But before that, as I mentioned earlier, you would need to authenticate with um, Llama Cloud. So you would need to go to their website and then from there you would need to create this um, free account and then grab an API key which is free for a lot of credits. So just after you have the key just type llama dash parse auth and then it will ask you for your API key. So let me set it and clear the screen. So it is asking my API key. I have pasted it. The good thing is that the input is masked which is hidden. And then API key saved successfully and I believe that when you do this it saves it in um, your local file which is I believe in your home directory in dot llama dash parse config.json okay now let's use this llama parse utility to parse this PDF file and you can see that now it is parsing the document and it's already done very very quick and this is the whole past content here this is just my random mumbo jumbo which I have just put in here just to for the testing purposes. Not only that, 
but for example you can even parse it and then put it in proper very nicely done markdown format in that dot md so let's wait for it and then if you do the cat output this is our markdown format in a nicely written way so let me clear the screen now if you just want to for example parse a page instead of uh, full file you can simply run this command which only uh, parses this so tp stands for target pages and then you can just even um, put like this page zero or you could page one something like that and it is going to only parse these two ones cool okay and then also you can um, parse it in the verbose uh, format so let me clear the screen and then just do the verbose here you see it is sending request to llama parse api and this is our parsed content here and you can see that how quick uh, it works now next up just to test the speed of this utility i just wanted to show you with a larger file so i have what i have done is i have just put in this new pdf file which is i guess around 56 pages let me quickly show you this file too so this is a file which i have just randomly downloaded from internet and you can see it's not only very badly uh, written but also the pages are uh, 56 so let's try to parse this to see how this works i think this should be interesting here and what i'm going to do i'm just going to use this command llama parse parse and then whole pass to the file and the output will be in the markdown format so let me run it there are 56 pages let's see how long does it take and i will let it run so you see it is uh, progressing very very speedily it should be interesting to see how it goes i think it has just been few seconds now and then it's already almost 70 percent done amazing stuff and of course it is an api base so if you're doing it at scale you must be aware of your api calls and stuff it is almost done and that is all done so if i just simply do output dot md it is a markdown there you go it's all in markdown to your text document look at that it has even given us all the references in a proper format and it has even gone out and used that omlaut on these characters properly great stuff so very high quality stuff as usual from llama parts and then you know really hats off to this person who has created this unofficial cli on top of llama parts which makes it so easy and you can simply embed it in your code if you like so that's it guys i'm going to drop the link to it in video description let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching